So friends, in our MVP motor rolls, there are some questions asked on the topic called capit clearance. So I have covered all the questions related to this topic. So the questions are as follows. What is tepid clearance? Which one has more tepid and why? Purpose of tepid clearance? How to take tepid clearance? And what if tepid clearance is more or less? So moving towards our first question. What is tepid clearance? So this was the question asked to me in the orals. So I answered this. Tepid clearance has space between the top of the ball stem and the rocker arm. When the balls are in close position and the engine is at compression stroke with piston at TDC. So he asked about the wall stem that what we call it in four stroke. So I told him wall bridge. So this is the diagram showing you where we take the tepid clearance. So tepid clearance is basically between the rocker arm and the yoke or the bridge. Friends, don't get confused about these two terms, yoke and the bridge. Both are same things but mentioned according to their makers. I have read two manuals. In one, it was written as a yoke, and another, it was written as a bridge. So I mentioned both so that you can get an idea according to your maker. Now you would have got a basic idea about what is tepid clear. So the next question he asked me which one has more tepid and why, and the purpose of this tepid clearance. So I will tell you the answer. Exhaust wall has a more tepid because it is exposed to more heat. Then he asked me how I said when the wall open. It comes down so more contact with the exhaust gases and then he asked what will happen if more heat I said thermal expansion will be more so these were the cross questions asked on this question so whatever I am telling is the accepted answer what he accepted from me and he said okay good so now I will tell you the purpose of this tepid clearance the main purpose of tepid clearance is to allow a small expansion gap of the fall stem and push rods to accommodate the effect of a heated engine so the basic need of tepid clearance to allow the positive closing of the valve so that proper sealing is maintained so on my Yanmar engine the exhaust valve was having 0.8 mm tepid clearance and inlet valve was having 0.4 mm tepid clearance these were the values which were provided to me by my manual given by the manufacturer called Yanmar and these keeps on changing according to your manufacturer so now some modern engines both have same tepid clearance there is nothing changed with the inlet or the exhaust wall. So these were the questions which were asked me as a cross. So now moving towards our next question. How to take tepid clearance. So before taking the tepid clearance we should ensure that the piston is set in TTC position by following these methods. So these are the methods given in detail in the book called Devan Arena or AP Singh. So I have explained you briefly about these methods, the flywheel method in that we look for the marking provided on the flywheel, second method the marking on the fuel pump window, third method position of the well cam and fourth method push rod method in this push rod should be free it should rotate freely and fifth method by tile gauge method in that we remove the fuel injector and put a tile gauge in place of that i am not explaining this method in detail because it will make the video very big that's why i will give you a link in my description so that you can get an idea so now i will attach one video made by yanmar so that you can get an idea how we adjust tepid clearance on four stroke engine and restore the cylinder head to its original condition after assembling the cylinder head, adjust the clearance of suction and exhaust valve in the following procedure. Firstly, turn the flywheel to set the piston of the cylinder for which the clearance is to be adjusted at the TDC of the compression stroke. At this time, if the push rod moves slightly, judge it as being in the compression process. Loosen the lock nut and then loosen the adjusting screw of rocker arm and valve guard. Tighten the adjusting screw of valve guard little by little while holding its upper part and then adjust the clearance to be on zero point. After adjusting, fix the adjusting screw and tighten the lock nut completely. 
Secondly, insert the feeler gauge into the clearance between the adjusting screw of rocker arm and valve guard. Tighten the adjusting screw of rocker arm little by little. Fix the adjusting screw in a point from where the feeler gauge can be easily drawn out and tighten the lock nut. After tightening the lock nut, insert the feeler gauge again to check it can be easily drawn out. Hope you understood how we adjust tappet clearance. Now moving towards our next question, what if tappet clearance is more or less? So there may be some problem arise due to this condition. What will happen if tappet clearance is more? The valve will open lately and close early. It reduces the maximum lift of the valve. Less heat energy to turbocharger of engine cause reduction in scavenger and hence power decrease. There is no proper removal of the exhaust gas. Hammering of the wall stem cause damage to the wall stem. So these were the problems which may arise if tappet clearance is more. Now moving towards our next. What will happen if tappet clearance is less? Wall will open early and close lately. Air induced in combustion chamber for combustion through an inlet valve may leak out. So less air will be available for combustion. Power of the engine will reduce. Fuel consumption by engine will increase and engine may become unbalanced and the exhaust temperature will be high. The valve may remain open in worst conditions resulting in loss of compression pressure of the engine, burning of exhaust valve and increase in turbocharger falling. So these are the problems which may arise if tepid clearance is less. So this is why we need tepid clearance adjusted according to the manual provided by the manufacturer. So now you would have got the basic idea about why we take traffic clearance and why we adjust it according to our manual. So friends, if this video was helpful, please like the video and subscribe the channel Marine Help Board.